Our gyms are closed, but we want to continue to work out. I get it. It's frustrating. It's been one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was stay away from the gym for the past week. But the good thing is, for those who've been loyal to my channel, you know that I have over 101 technical episodes for you to get better. The whole concept of this series started where I take you as a beginner from the basics and progress you along through intermediate and some advanced applications. Episode 100, I teach you my fight strategy that helped me win my world title. So a good strategy is go back, learn. You might not be able to physically practice, but visual reps, listening, learning, watching your favorite fighters, watching past fights, all gonna help you become a better martial artist. So go back, learn, and 101 days of quarantine, you're gonna be a professional. Space is a big issue when you're training at home. So a lot of people I see posting bag works, pad, diff pad work that you guys can practice at home. The problem is you might not have the space, you don't have a partner, you might not have pads and you don't have a bag. That's the biggest challenge. So other people are giving you shadow boxing routines, which is great. If you have the space, go outside, work, practice your footwork and get the shadow boxing better. Practice those techniques, practice the different episode concepts that I've given you. And at that point, you're still learning physically and visually by watching. But now, you might want to keep those fight endurance muscles, I call. And an important one is through the shoulders. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a three-round workout that I like to use to make sure our shoulders have good, strong endurance. You need shoulder endurance when you fight the one to be able to keep my hands up for the entire round and to be able to keep throwing punches if it's one of those types of fight where you need high output. So shoulder endurance is often overlooked because it's tiring, you wanna keep the shoulder fresh, but now is the time to work that. In camps, you might not wanna do it as much because it's fatiguing and then the time you, you do need to perform, you do need that power, your shoulders might not have the energy to be able to do it. So practice these three rounds at home, you don't need much space, and at the end of this quarantine, you're gonna see how your punches might be faster, harder, more snappier, and you'll have that endurance to be able to punch through all of the rounds. In order to do the shoulder endurance drills, you need something very simple. And if you have small dumbbells around the house, that's ideal. I like to use different sizes depending on what I'm doing. So one pounders or more for that straight punch volume so you can get that high rate. I like to use two pound weights, which is better for more of those inside hooks, uppercuts, and more power punching. Those are the two pound weights. And if you're a seriously newbie into shoulder endurance and conditioning, even bare hand is enough to fatigue your shoulders. One. Round one is all about tempo, keeping that constant pace for that full three minute round. Okay, so I like to do straight punches, okay? If I get fatigued, I can roll to an uppercut, but as soon as I get my shoulder endurance back, I go right back to the straight punches, okay? The uppercuts are just for that quick second to catch a break while keeping the same work rate. The other thing I wanna do is make sure that my feet always change. I don't always wanna stay orthodox. I'll come to more of a neutral stance. You see me go self-paw throw a little bit, back to neutral, back to orthodox, quick break, and then I go back to the straight punches. Key things I'm looking for is my hands return back here. I don't wanna punch and my hands come back here. I'm losing the muscles that are keeping my hands up tight, which you need to do in your fight. The other thing I'm looking for is corkscrewing my punch. I don't wanna get lazy. I wanna work all heads of the deltoid. Turn, 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 and hands come back, trying to force my elbows in. Repetitive, and go. The other thing I can do is change the angle of my punch. So I can go a little bit more on a 45 degree angle. I can go overhead, uppercut, straight punch, okay? So change the angles. All right, round two is more about explosion, more about that Tabata style. So what you're gonna do, you rest here, five seconds. Then all of a sudden for 10 seconds, as fast as you can, <laughs> and you can change angles back to the breathe. Straight punches. <laughs> Okay, so from uppercut to straight punch blast, three minutes. All right, round three is about different movement patterns. So the one I'm gonna introduce is the forward circle, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, reverse circles. 10 seconds, milk the cow, okay? And we're gonna fly the plane, okay? So we're gonna do different 
positionings just to fatigue the different shoulders. As you get advanced, you can get a little bit more bounce to it, but you see me constantly changing the different directions to fatigue the different heads of the shoulders. Okay, I could even add some of those straight punch blasts, but I'm trying to find where it hurts, where it's fatiguing, and continually hit that head of the deltoid. There you go, three different rounds, doesn't take much space, and your shoulders are fried, okay? So keep practicing these different techniques. I would do them every other day, makes sense. Don't overburn them out, because you might cause injury at that point, but something very simple, and whether you're in quarantine or not, this should be added to your training on a weekly basis.